Hi again guys, it's me Natalie. Um, I am here with the bandsaw, like I said I would be. Um, I was originally going to do a video where I showed the unboxing of a bandsaw and then setting it up, but I have to admit that it took me a ridiculously long time <laughs> to figure out how to set this thing up. Um, so I didn't get a chance to uh, film it. I had started to and then like I said it just it was taking a really long time, but I thought I could at least give you a dramatic reenactment of what it looked like yesterday, which went like this. That's pretty much what it looked like. Uh, obviously that was a shortened version, but uh, you get the gist. Anyway, so what I thought I'd do today is just kind of point out a little bit about the bandsaw and then uh, cut my first piece of wood on it. Um, if you'll notice the background here, I did get a handy dandy little workbench. My husband and I went to Harbor Freight the other day and we picked that up. It was $99 and I mean it really for, you know, what I wanted it for, it's, it's perfect. Um, you will notice though that, uh, you know, I'm pretty short compared to a lot of the stuff that's on this planet. <laughs> um, we had the bandsaw up here just standing. Um, it was never going to be like the main spot of it, but the, the table here actually came up to about here on me. I did not think that'd be very conducive to working conditions. So we decided to put it on this, which is an old entertainment center, which we weren't using for anything else, and we thought we could repurpose it for this. Um, it's got glass doors here, which I'm going to take off. Um, so it ended up the height, I just, it's perfect, you know. So uh, this bandsaw here does, uh, it came with a miter gauge, but, um, you know, I've never, it's, the miter gauge is used to help you make angled cuts to your wood. Uh, that's not something I'm going to show today. And I might not ever show the first attempt of using that. Uh, just like attempting to set this up, but it was really exciting. This is my first power tool. Um, I mean, aside from like a drill or whatnot, so it just, I don't know, made me feel really good to get. Uh, my husband did get it as a Christmas gift, but it was really exciting to get it out, and it's even more exciting to actually get out and uh, use it. Um, the bandsaw here does have your on-off switch, which came with this yellow piece of plastic, which is the key, and you would plug it into the red part here, and then it can turn off and on. But before I do that, um, if anybody is unfamiliar with a bandsaw, which I was until I started uh, looking information up about it once my husband bought one for me, I mean, I did use one in the seventh grade, I made a puzzle, but that was many, many years ago. I don't really, I mean, I never saw the inner workings of it or whatnot. But uh, if you're unfamiliar with a bandsaw, it basically has one really long continuous blade that turns when you turn it on. And that's what gives the saw its motion and what cuts, helps cut through the wood, or what does cut through the wood. Um, there are different parts to it. There is a tire, which apparently might need to be replaced one day. Uh, this is tension for your, your uh, blade here. And uh, a bunch of other technical stuff that I know about that I just don't need to waste anybody's time talking about. So why don't we get right to it. Uh, this thing already turned off on me once. I just kind of want to make sure it did not turn off on me again. Okay. Okay. It's still good. So I do have a pair of safety glasses. And what I don't have, though is I don't really have a very small piece of wood. Um, I have a longer board here. I was going to cut a piece with uh, the circular saw and I didn't get around to it before making this video because I am not the most organized person. So now I'm kind of looking around wondering what I will do. I wonder... Let's see. If I could cut a piece of this off and then we can just kind of... I don't even know if that... Well, let's see, let's see what happens. Um, 
obviously it wasn't a straight cut. I know that you can create jigs out there to help give you a straighter cut when you do uh, cross cuts like that. But, um, you know, for the purposes of today's video, that's just fine. So why don't I draw a little design on here. And I think I might move the camera so that you can get a better angle of what I'm doing. All right, I think this is as good as we're gonna get it right now. Um, hopefully you can see everything I'm doing here. But uh, let's just see about if we just cut that. Let's see what happens. All right. be best if you couldn't see everything um that's what it looks like it's really choppy i could just take you know some sandpaper or whatnot and uh sand that down to a smooth finish if it was anything i really wanted to keep um who knows i might find something to do with it um i made i don't know if i don't know how much you could see but i i made those lines um all of a sudden because I remember seeing something about uh, and there's a technical name for them I don't remember what it is but you make these lines and it helps take the pressure off of the blade as you're making these cuts uh, which I think it did a pretty great job and I'm really excited because that thing is really fun you know I just think I need to get used to using it and uh, I don't know I think it's really great I think I'll be able to do quite a bit of stuff with it um, so that's my video today. Um, I did try to be as safe as possible. I stopped the blade anytime I had to take one of these little pieces uh, away from the, the blade and whatnot. Um, so that's it for today. I am going to be making another video rather soon. Probably going to be like a crib style video to show my awesome workbench in the back. Uh, with all my little beginner's tools. I picked up things here and there based off of different articles. I, you know, read or videos I saw, things that people were really able to utilize in their craft of woodworking. So uh, I will probably show a little bit of that the next video. Um, and I do, I did pick up some other wood because I'm going to go ahead and try to make just a simple box. Um, I did have my stepdad helped make me one uh, a few years back for my uh, album collection. Uh, it came out really nice. He put it together for me. I had picked up all the wood that I wanted. I, wanted. I didn't know a whole lot about wood and I did, I think, I picked oak. So it was really expensive little box for my records, but I did go ahead and uh, I stained it a really nice darker color and it turned out exactly how I wanted it. So it was worth it to me. Uh, and if you are liking these videos, I know I'm really new at it and whatnot, but uh, if you want to continue on this journey with me, watching all of my excitement as I try out new tools or whatnot, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, also, I am on 
Twitter and Instagram, uh, Paris by Design. Uh, go ahead and check me out if you want. All right. So I will catch you guys later and have a good New Year's Eve. Today's uh, New Year's Eve. So, you know, be safe and have fun. Bye.